Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and thank you for stopping by once again. Uh, I, this time I just want to talk to you a little bit about some simple things regarding that trip you come down where you are actually looking to rent or to buy a property. You've made your decision. You're, you're going to be with us for a while. Uh, how do you go about doing it? There's, it's a little bit different than you might expect. Uh, at least it's, it seems to be so. In the 17 years since I've been doing this, I, Lord knows how many letters and messages I've gotten regarding visits and, and setting an appointment. And people would like to set an appointment at such and such a day, such and such a time during their visit uh, to see me, for example. Um, and, or they would uh, very commonly they will say, uh, can you help me identify a uh, real estate agent to work with me? And uh, I'd like to set, you know, talk to them and uh, set an appointment and so forth. And we don't set appointments in advance with people who are not physically here. Uh, a real estate agent is probably going to say something to the effect of, well, yes, I'm sure I'll be available when you get here. Please let me know when, you, when you're when headed down. Uh, that's a nice way of putting it. I just say the same thing it's to anybody who, who writes and asks and mentions a specific, the desire for a specific appointment. When you get in uh, and you're settled, then give me a call or send me an email and we'll set a time. It won't be any difficulty at all, I'm sure. And when I mean get settled, uh, it may it basically just get to the hotel and get the bags unpacked. And if you're exhausted, rest. Uh, no need to call me the moment you get into the town. But also it may be that you need to see the lawyer. And I always were told, you, the lawyer calls the shots. If you're here for some sort of legal business, you've got to get rid of it. You get to work on that and get that out of the way. And I can fit in to that schedule. I'm not terribly concerned about that. But they have probably set up uh, already, uh, by the time you get there, some, a good idea of when they're going to need you to be uh, at one place or what, another place to do whatever needs to be done. So uh, things happen. Otherwise, if, if we do try to set an appointment, it just don't work. People change their plans, they get sick, they don't come down. A, 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 friend, a member here, one of you, came down last week and needed to get some business done quickly. They were they had a very limited time. And American Airlines from the U.S. just canceled the flight. And I'd heard American was cutting back in the number of flights all around uh, to many different locations. Uh, so I wasn't surprised by that, but he suddenly discovered he didn't have a flight and he had to get another one, and he did, and so on. And he was against real time pressures, but he succeeded. And that's the important thing, that he got it out of the way. But this is the sort of thing that happens, and you can't prepare for it. And you're not going to be aware that maybe there's a family emergency or any of a hundred different things happen. Uh, I've had people come all the way down here and, and make it here, and then forget that, <laughs> and this is in the past, when we tried to set appointments, they forget they had one. <laughs> I'd be sitting here waiting for their phone call or their email, and, and nothing came. And you know, a couple of weeks later, I'd get a note saying, oh, gee, we're really sorry. We, we got so involved. And that's, that's one of the nice things about it, is that you will get involved when you get to this stage. There's going to be a lot happening, and you're going to be looking at a lot of things, and it's going to be a lot easier for you and I to come to a good time to do that. And as far as an agent is concerned, um, a real estate agent, and until they actually have a body down there, you need to be here. You need to make it clear that you are serious about this. You are ready to go move forward on a rental contract or a purchase agreement, and that's it. So once that's clear, it's it's people are wanting to talk to you. We don't have an MLS uh, for those who are in Canada. And uh, the United States, you're familiar with MLSs, the multiple listing services. Um, I, I'm not going to go into detail for everybody else in the world that doesn't have an MLS and don't know what I'm talking about, but it's a system that's very effective at, at listing pretty much every uh, available uh, property in an area. We don't have that here. And we, there, there is the prototype. They've, be, they've begun that effort, but it is not where it needs to be yet to, service, to serve that purpose. And any agent I work with here is going to use it anyhow, but it's very limited for now, and that's another story for another day. But the critical thing is that things are done a little bit differently, perhaps, than, than you might expect. Um, 
to begin with. There are two fundamental ways that people end up purchasing. One is through a developer that has created a condominium here in, in Panama that has it up for sale or is in the process of construction, constructing it or so on, and they're selling it uh, at pre-construction prices, all this. Or they're out in the countryside with a development, an area that they've set aside, they build homes on and condos and so forth, what have you. And they're still selling themselves, the developers. Then you just go to, they have offices. You go and you talk to them. <laughs> and, you ask, and you can give them a call if they're out in the countryside. Or you can drop them a note when you're here and say, I'd like to, I'm coming out in your area and I'd like to be shown around and so on, what have you. It will happen. It will happen. So that's how that works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but the bulk of homes, I'd say, yeah, the great majority of homes here are, um, are maybe not quite so much on the beach where we have a lot of unsold inventory uh, that's still in the developer's hands. But generally speaking, you're very likely to be uh, buying from an individual who already owns the property or has, and is interested in renting it or is interested in selling it. How that goes, how that happens, is that when you're here, your agent knows what you're looking for, all the details, and he finds a place that looks like uh, it might fit in. Then I would say she, because it could be either, um, she would call uh, the agent for the other property and talk to them and set up an appointment to see the property, to show the property, and the other agent would very likely mention it to the owner as well, who may choose to be present uh, at that initial meeting. And basically, you're putting together a meeting. And whether it's in the city where you may have a lot of traffic at certain times of day, or whether it's out in the countryside where you may have substantial distances between uh, potential homes or condos or whatever, then in those circumstances, it can get a little tricky because you may end up spending 15, 20 minutes waiting for one of the parties to show up. But that's how it's done. At the very least, the agent for the owner of the current owner is definitely got to be there along with your agent and you. And very often, they will also want to have the owner, or the owner will want to be there too to see who it is he or she has to depend on for paying the rental payments or actually paying the down payment and whatever if there's financing involved, but it's more likely going to be paying the whole amount, whatever. They want to see you. <laughs> that is, it's a very personal sort of thing, and they, they just like to, to see the person. It's not quite so antiseptic and distant as it may be uh, where you are. So that, that makes it a little bit slower, and it's true. As a result, you may only see three or four for example, uh, condos or apartments or um, homes or whatever in uh, the course of a day. Uh, maybe two in the morning, two in the afternoon. Uh, weekends are busy, you might be able to fit in a little bit more, maybe. Uh, it depends, huh? really, on, on where you are and what, what you're looking for. Um, and you may even not even make it to four, you might only make it to two or three. Uh, there are those circumstances because once you get there, how long is it going to take you? You can walk through and then walk out again, or you, you get really interested. If you're buying, you tend to spend more time, and so on and so on and so on. So we try to squeeze in as much as possible, but in the process, it isn't as going to be as rapid as it is, say, in, in some countries like the U.S. I use it as an example because I'm familiar with it, where the owner may have a lockbox that's just left at the, uh, the home or the apartment, and there's uh, the other, this, your agent, goes and can open the lockbox, get the key out, open it, and show the apartment without anybody else being present. It doesn't work that way here. There will be somebody else here present, period. That's as simple as that. In fact, there may be two somebody else's and so on. I showed up once and looking at a rental and the entire family <laughs> showed up. <laughs> They were very pleasant people. I did not rent it, however. But it was amazing to walk in and have half a dozen, including their kids, show up to see me. <laughs> ah, well. So uh, you keep those things in mind. Now, uh, so you don't, you don't do that, but don't get too upset by this. You think, oh my gosh, oh, that's terrible. This is a small country. You're going to be, if you're interested in the city, you're going to pretty quickly uh, narrow it down to two or three neighborhoods that you're really interested in. Then you're going to have your requirements, and that's going to further narrow it down, and what have you. If you're uh, looking outside and 
uh, one particular area, the beach or the mountains or one thing or another, you, again, will be focused on a relatively small area physically. It's not like uh, a country the size of Canada, for example, which is huge. You know, you have a long distances. We don't have that. So we can actually do pretty well at it. I think the most time-consuming part of it, really, is if uh, you really don't know what you want and, and you really have a lot of work to do in figuring that out. An agent's not going to spend six weeks with you showing you places, um, especially if you're renting. But even the sales, they really want you to take some time on your own to take a look around. I mean, it's not that hard. Thousands upon thousands of people have done this before you. And in the city, of course, it's a snap. But uh, Or you rent a car and you go out into the countryside. And we haven't lost anybody out there yet. I don't think we, we will anytime soon. And people are friendly here. So you, you go and you take a look. If I were you and, and you really aren't sure at all where you want to go, then um, you might be better off uh, getting an Airbnb uh, for a month and a half, six weeks or something like that, and uh, and just seeing things and just traveling around. Uh, that's an expense. I mean, if you can afford it, that's, I mean, that's great. But uh, it's going to be cheaper than staying in a hotel, and you're going to be able to prepare your own meals and things of this sort. But uh, it'll also give you a taste of that particular area. But that's one that works for some people. Others don't have that kind of time. So they're really going to have to be focused on it, and they will hit the ground running. People are ready to do that with you if you're ready. That's the key thing. It's you who, who are the important person. And that's why it's important that you be ready to rent or to buy. Uh, nobody wants to, to take their time. Because you, if you, you're not going to get a tour. All right? Nobody wants to do that. If any suggestion that that's really what's happening, things get chilly very quickly. Uh, it's way too much trouble. And the important thing is, is that in the time before you get around to making up your mind what you read and be serious about it, prices may have changed. Because we're now, especially in the volatile area, we don't know uh, price-wise, and we probably won't for, be to a steady level here for some time. I don't know how long. Um, we have had, definitely had a pickup in economic activity and so forth, but it's, there's so many unknowns at the moment. That, uh, but this economy is growing, and again, and it's uh, at the macro level. At the micro level, we're still working at that, but we're getting places, and we are getting the vaccinations done, and so on. Uh, so I can't tell you where prices are going to be compared to today, three months from now, or six months from now, or a year from now. Believe me, nobody can. But I will say that they're probably not going to be much cheaper than they are right at the moment, and for the and for the coming months uh, through the rest of this year. So. Other than that, though, it's basically up to you when you can get down. And whenever that may be, there's going to be a place for you. And uh, hopefully one that fits every need that you have. And I sincerely hope so. But when coming down, just get here. Be here. Join us. And once you're here, you're getting serious, things will happen. So thank you. Good talking to you. Look forward to seeing you again. And another thanks to Ed Tennis, who provided the uh, photo for this particular uh, video of uh, a sunset uh, over Panama City from his apartment. So <laughs> I thought it was a particularly nice one, so it got used this time. Thanks again. See you next time.